Hi, in this video I will show you how to access SAP system from browser that is SAP GUI for HTML. Okay, so before uh, doing some settings, let us try to access SAP system using browser. I know the URL. Using that URL, we will try to access the system. So, to go to system, this is the system. The system name is NW7EHP1 and the system number is 00. Okay, so the URL is HTTP colon the system name dot the DNS primary suffix that is properties. Go to advanced system settings and computer name this is the D DNS primary suffix so you can change this from here so this is the DNS primary suffix okay so that entire computer name is nw7ehp1.punarvasi.com and the port number of the ITS internet transaction server is can be found from SAP GUI for Windows so just smicm is the T code to find the port number go to services so this is the port number 8000 is the port number and the complete host name is nw7ehp1.punarvasi.com okay so that you can access this system using browser using the URL http colon slash slash nw7 ehp1 dot punarvasi dot com colon 8000 slash sap slash bc gui sap its web gui this is the url just remember the url so that after activation of the services you can use this particular url to access the SAP system right now it will give you the error why because we have not yet activated the services and we have not yet published the HTML pages okay that I am going to do that now so before doing that the, I want to show you this error so this is the error okay once it is configured we should not get the error we should be able to log into the SAP system okay so to activate the services and uh, publish the services just go back here and hit the T code SICF so he, from here you can maintain the services just click on execute button here okay under default host there is a SAP section under SAP section there is a public so the public BC should be activated it is already activated so that there is no need to activate now okay and next thing is under sap bc and gui sap its web gui so this also need to be activated it is also activated so there is no need to activate again okay both the services required to get this functionality are activated and go back now and access your SAP above development workbench to publish the services so those are internet service and the system click on view button here right click here and publish click on complete service so that all the HTML templates will be published okay object published successfully okay next object is web GUI click on display right click here publish complete service
okay this object also published successfully okay go back and uh, check your uh, browser for accessing the system okay just click on refresh button here okay still I am not able to get so I will try to access the system using the IP address okay what is the IP address of my system just go and check it config what is that 2.8192.168.2.8 instead of this complete uh, name SAP BC GUI SAP ITS okay. see like this you should get the screen so I am able to browse this using IP address but not with the fully qualified domain name that may be because the uh, host name is very lengthy that is punarvesi.com the M is not there so that's why we are able to browse the SAP system using this URL just remember this URL okay just click on log on here okay the username is ddic and the password okay uh, something need to be activated the browser is not supported okay same thing I will try to open it in Internet Explorer so I am using Internet Explorer to access the system Let's just click on log on DDIC and the password so like this so this is SAP easy access uh, screen okay from here you can execute your commands okay just if you click on this it will be opened the command field from here you can execute any of your T codes okay okay this is SAP GUI for HTML I hope you understood how to configure SAP GUI for HTML okay even uh, Google Chrome also will work we need to do some browser settings okay. so thanks for watching have a nice day